क्वेश्चन नंबर वन डिस्क्राइब हिप जॉइंट द हिप जॉइंट इज द जंक्शन वेर द हिप जॉइन द लेग टू द ट्रंक ऑफ द बॉडी इट इज कंप्राइज ऑफ टू बोन्स थाई बोन आर फीमर एंड पेलविस विच इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री बोन्स इज कॉल्ड एज इलियम इस्कियम एंड प्यूबिस द बॉल ऑफ द हिप जॉइंट इज मेड बाय द फीमरल हेड वाइल द सॉकेट फॉर्मड बाय द एसिटेबिलम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ हिप जॉइंट द हिप जॉइंट इज द बॉल एंड सॉकेट टाइप ऑफ साइनवल जॉइंट दैट कनेक्ट्स द पेल्विक गर्डल टू द लोअर लिम इन दिस जॉइंट द हेड ऑफ द फीमर आर्टिक्युलेट्स अंतर जॉइंट आगोद आर्टिक्युलेट्स अतार विथ द एसिटेबिलम एसिटेबिलम अंतर यह तेग टाइप रौंड तेग टाइप बोन्स अदर अदेनते ना एसिटेबिलम अंत आफ द पेलविस इग्राम निम्ग गति एसिटेबिलम अंतर यूद नहीं नोड़ तक वाट आर् दट फंक्षन आफ बोन द मेजर फंक्षन आफ द बोन आर् बाडी सपोर्ट फेसिलिटेशन आफ मूमेंट अंतर्र मूमेंट के टू मूमेंट के हेल्प प्रोटेक्षन आफ् इंटर्नल आर्गन स्टोरेज आफ् मिनरल एंड फैट एंड हेमटो पोयसस् टूगेदर द मस्क्युल सम एंड स्कैलीटल सम आर् आलो नोन ऐस मस्क्युलो स्कैलीटल सम हियर डग्राम इज दे यू हव् टू ड्रा द डग्राम एंड लेबल इट प्रॉपर्ली क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्यूबैटल फोर्सा द क्यूबैटल फोर्सा इज द स्म ट्रैंगुलर एरिया लोकेटेड आन द इंटीरियर सर्फेस आफ द एलो वित् द एपेक्स आफ द ट्रैंगुलर पॉइंट डिस्टली इट कंटेन सम इंपारटेंट स्ट्रक्चर आन देर पैसेज फ्रम द आम टू फोर आर्म नंबर वन इट ईज होमोलोग टू द पॉलिटल फोर्स ऑफ द लोवर लिम फंक्षन आफ क्यूब क्यूबैटल फोर्स इन अनाटमी इट सप्लाइज द मेजारीटी आफ फ्लेक्शर मसल इन द फोर आर्म इट रन डिस्टली इन द आर्म आन द लैट्रल सैड आफ द ब्रेकियल आट्री अंटिल इट रीच द मिडल आफ द आर्म वेर इट अक्रॉस टू द मिडल सैड एंड कॉन्टैक्ट द ब्रेकियल हियर डग्राम इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री नेम द पार्ट आफ रेस्पिटरी सिसम एंड डिस्क्रैब द लैरेक्स Eleven parts of the respiratory system. These are the parts: nose, mouth, throat, pharynx means voice box, larynx means windpipe, trachea means large airway, bronchi means small airway, and bronchioles and also as well as lungs. These are the parts of respiratory system. Again, uh, muscles of the larynx, extrinsic muscles which produce the movement of the hyoid bone. These are the uh, infrahyoid. Infrahyoid means again four uh, muscles is also including uh, sternohyoid, uh, mammohyoid, sternothyroid, thyrohyoid. Okay, these are the four um, muscles are there again the supra hyoid muscles supra hyoid muscles means stylohyoid then uh, di- uh, digestic and mylohyoid and geni hyoid okay these are the
ಸುಪ್ರಾ ಹಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಸಿಕ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ವಿಚ್ ಮೂವ್ ದ ಓಕಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೆರೆಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಲೆರೆಂಗ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸಬ್ ಲೆರೆಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೆರೆಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸುಪ್ರಾ ಲೆರೆಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ನೈನ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಬೈ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಲೆರೆಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ರೋಲ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ದ ಎಪಿಥೀಲಿಯಲ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ವಿತ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದ ಎಪಿಥೀಲಿಯಂ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾಲೋ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ ಗ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ the four major classes of <coughs> simple epithelium are one is the simple squamous second one is the simple cuboidal third one is the simple columnar fourth one is pseudo stratified muscles the main functions of the epithelial tissue there are three primary functions of epithelial tissue serving as a protective barrier secreting substances and absorbing substances example here diagram is also there then you have to draw the diagram of all type of muscles and examples using uh, disposable needles and practicing uh, safe sex that is used to protect the link condoms question number 5 describe the continents of intracostal space the intracostal space is the anatomic space between two ribs since there are 12 ribs on each side there are 11 intracostal spaces each numbered for the rib superior to it number 1 the intracostal space continents the external intra intracostal the internal intracostal and the innermost intracostal muscles arranged in three layers the neurovascular bundle consisting of the intracostal nerves and vessels lines in between the internal and the innermost intracostal intracostal muscles comprise many different group of muscles that run between the ribs and help from the move the chest wall the intracostal muscles are mainly involved in the mechanical aspects of breathing by helping expand and shrink the size of the chest here intracostal space diagram is also there you have to draw the diagram question number 6 name the muscles of the hand four muscle group comprise the intrinsic hand these are the thinner hypothinner and introsius and is the lubrical muscles there are over 30 muscles in the hand working together in a highly complex way 
movement of the hand are mostly started by the muscles in the forearm muscles of the hand percussion uh, movements means small motor units thinner muscles means abd p braves flex p braves and opponents hypothinner muscles question number 7 name the veins of the upper limb here diagram is there there are usually in the upper limb there are some major veins that passes a specific path these veins consist of basilica cephalic and median cubital vein as the major superficial veins basilica and cephalic veins began their path from around the wrist and continue towards the upper region of the forearm question number 8 name the endocrine glands endocrine glands are ductless glands of the endocrine system that secrete their products hormones directly into the blood the major glands of the endocrine system include the pineal gland pituitary gland pancreas ovaries testis thyroid gland parathyroid gland hypothalamus gland adrenal gland female ovaries male testis and pituitary thyroid and adrenal gland which is a diagram is also there you have to see the diagram and draw it and label it question number 9 classify the connective tissue connective tissues are classified in three main loose connective tissue dense connective tissue and specialized connective tissues loose connective tissues alveolar tissues adipose tissue reticular tissue dense tissue means dense regular dense irregular and elastic tissue specialized connective tissue means cartilage bone and blood uh, these primary functions of connective tissue including transportation of nutrients and metabolites through direct diffusion between the organs and connective tissue proper immunological defense means they will fight invading cells while inflammation means when they will fight the inflammation inflammation is occurs means yavagadru namage gulli adu eddaga adar jothe en martava they will fight against them and structural support is also there uh, from connective tissue and they will repair also at the time of injury question number 10 name the parts of the male urethra the male urethra can subdivide into four parts each parts containing unique gross and histological features pre prostatic urethra location extension inferiorly from urinary bladder and ends prior to the entering the prostate gland prostatic urethra membranes urethra is spongy the posterior urethra means that is the proximal urethra near near to bladder this is 4 cm in length it lies in the pelvic it has a three parts those are the pre prostatic part 
and uh, below bladder and prostate then b pros prostatic parts means within the prostate c means membranous part through the perineal membrane here diagram is also there you have to draw the diagram question number 11 name the parts of uterine tube a uterine tube contains three parts the first segment closest to the uterus is called as ischemus the second segment is the ampulla which becomes more dilated in diameter and is the most common site for fertilization the final segment located fourthest from the uterus is the infandulum here diagram is also there you have to draw the diagram and label it fallopian tube uterus uterine artery ovary ovarian artery um, then ovarian branch of uterine artery question number 12 name the continents of palpital fossa continents of palpital fossa contestable nerve common fibular nerve also known as the common perineal nerve palpital vein palpital artery a continuation of femoral artery small spinous vein means that is termination okay then palpital lymph nodes and vessels continents the major continents of the palpital fossa from superficial to deep include nerves veins and an artery tibula and common fibular means common perineal branches of the sciatic nerve these are the most superficial structure they enter the uh, fossa beneath the biceps femur femurus muscles and also uh, here there is a diagram the palpital fossa boundaries and continent question number 13 name meninges covering the brain meninges refer to the membranous coverings of the brain and spinal cord there are three layers of meninges known as the dura mater arachnoid mater and pi mater these coverings have two major functions provide a supportive framework for the cerebral and cranial and ves acting with vasculasia acting with cerebrospinal fluid to protect the cns from mechanical damage the meninges are often involved ce cerebral pathology as a common site of infection Tho those are meninges which are the three layers and intracranial bleeding in the article we shall look at the anatomy of the three layers and their clinical correlation question number 14 name the parts of the compound microscope compound microscope is an upright microscope that use two set of lengths to obtain higher magnification than a stereo microscope 
a compound microscope provides a two dimensional image while a stereo microscope provides the three dimensional image then here microscope diagram is also there you have to draw the diagram and question number 15 name the muscles of the leg main leg muscles quadriceps hamstrings adductors sh shins and claves posterior the muscles in the posterior means back of our lower leg are calf muscles which include the gastro canemus and the sclerus flexor digitorum longus flexor hallucis longus palpitus which sides deeper in our leg just behind our knee joints means tibialis posterior